Hey everyone, welcome to episode 13 of The Good, The Bad, The Spammy. My name is Rita, I'm the content marketing manager at Mixmax, and I know normally it's the SDR manager and the lead AE who do these videos for you guys, but today I decided to do this one myself because this is an email that I personally received and that got me a little bit frustrated, so I figured I would just give you my take on it. So we'll start off right away with the subject line. The subject is, is Mixmax still in business? I guess I can give this guy points for, you know, getting me to open the email because I was like, what? Why wouldn't we be in business? Um, But then once I opened it and I read the full email, then I was like, okay, that's rude. Um, So points for a creative way to get a response out of me and to open the email. But let's go ahead and see why this was super annoying. So He starts off, hi Rita, we've emailed you three times in the past couple of days without a response. Got me wondering if Mixmax is still in business. First of all, the fact that you've emailed me three times doesn't mean that I owe you a response. So don't try to make me feel bad that you've emailed me a couple of times and that I haven't responded. And just because I haven't responded does not mean that our business is bust, okay? It just means that your emails aren't great. And then we'll jump to the second paragraph. I'm certain that our offer is immensely useful to Mixmax. We've helped Rise Beyond, Sonary, and Jotform, among others, achieve staggering revenue growths, mostly through consistent blogging. First of all, I don't know who these people are. I don't know who Rise Beyond, Sonary, or Jotform is. So if you're going to be including examples, like use cases, make sure that the recipient knows who you're talking about. And then he says, you know mostly through consistent blogging. Mixmax blogs very consistently. So to me, right off the bat, like this isn't valuable at all. So he goes on to say we're 100% confident that Mixmax can experience similar growth. Okay, 100% confident. Okay. And then to help you make the best of this opportunity, we're offering Mixmax up to 50% off on our fees for the first three months. I bet that sounds great. No, it doesn't. And you know, just based off of how annoyed I am by this email, even if I needed something like this, I wouldn't choose you. And then I've also gone ahead and circled all the times he says we or I, and I think it's 10 times. That's 10 times too many. So generally speaking, you should try to not say we or I at all in an email and certainly not 10 times. And then his CTA goes, how about you shoot me a response right away or schedule a time for more detailed combo? No. (laughs) How about I don't do that? And yeah, so I would give this email a big fat zero out of 10 because, or maybe I would give it a one out of 10 because it, it got me to open the email. But then once I opened it, my conclusion is that I will never, ever do business with you. So that's my take and thanks everyone for listening. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it Um, and see you next week. Bye-bye.